What is up, Shib fam? What is up, YouTube? We are back with yet another really fun prologue available in Steam. This one by Alcedo Games, both developed and published. We're going back in time. Gotta go back in time. I don't know why I said that, but I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do this right here, right now. Another prologue, another game, another use of the Unity engine. I like the Unity engine because it allows me to use the controller. So, we're going to check this out. I'm excited. It's called Old Market Simulator, and it's going to be a co-op uh, bizarre adventure for up to two players. So you're going to dive into commerce, manage your reputation, build your, uh, your market, all in a very, I don't want to say primitive, but yeah, a, a very old time. And we start with this. Thank you for downloading our prologue. Feel free to join our Discord channel. We are a two-person team, and we need your feedback uh, in order to fix crash and crashes and bugs. Uh, this is cool. I love it. Am I going to join their Discord? Heck yeah. I'd like to see this game become uh, more developed. This was uh, released. The prologue was released yesterday. Yesterday, uh, April 5th, 2024. Let's hop right into the old Market Simulator prologue. I'm going to start a brand new game. And it says right at the top, Shib has joined the game. I love the fact that this is going to be co-op. This is going to be really awesome. I am going to unmute the sound, uh, but for whatever reason, it doesn't matter how low I've turned the music down, it is still kind of audible. But there's our market, East Wind Market. As you can see, there's nothing in there. Nothing. So we've got to we've got to buy our own shelves, our own products, and conveniently we live right upstairs. But we're gonna start with what the task says to, you, and it says ordering order goods from the dock. I love this. When I spawned in and started to walk this way, I got like serious Sea of Thieves vibes, and I know it's not the same game, but. Yeah, we're walking out on the dock to a pirate ship, or what looks like a pirate ship. There's another uh, market where you can buy items, but we're not going to utilize that because <clears throat> it's much more expensive than purchasing it um, wholesale. So we're going to go out to the dock. If you look up in the corner, it says order goods from the dock. Here's our dock guy. Graphics are a little cartoonish, but I'm not I'm not against it. I'm not upset about that. Kind of look kind of Lego-ish, you know? But uh, I'm okay with that. Um and I love this part. So when you're ordering uh goods, you want to pay attention because some things have a time of decay. So if we order bread, we've got to make sure we only buy enough for 3 days or it can decay. Corn has seven days, gooseberry has six days, honey jars have none, uh, parmesan cheese, there's all sorts of cool stuff in here. So I'm, I'm excited. I think we're going to start with some almonds. Yeah, let's start with some almonds and apples. Yeah, let's do apples. How much money is that going to take away, though? Took all of it. All right. Well, no, we, I don't think we can take all of it. Because I think we're going to need some. So, let's just do one of each for now. There we go. Alright, so we've got some money back. Now, it's going to spawn over here. But if you look up in the corner, it says go to bed to end the day. So, at the end of every day, if you go to bed, 
um, your stuff spawns. And wait till you see the way we get to go uh, bring it up to the store. I love, I love this part of the game. It's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and head up here. I'm going to turn the sound up just a little bit more. And we are going to get our first good night's sleep. I'll see you all in the morning. So the very next day, we have a brand new objective. We have to purchase a stand from the Lumberjack. So this is our Lumberjack. Again, he's looking cartoonish. Uh, I don't know why the music does that. It's all the way down, and I can still hear it. Uh, but you got to pay attention. Here's what all your stands are going to look like. I love that you can see that, uh, but they're not all the same. So this is a mid-sized stand. It can be used for all kinds of products except really big products. I'm assuming like watermelons. Here's another low-lying vendor. Here's a big wooden stand. We've got another wooden stand, mostly used to place fruits. I'm going to buy two of these because they're the cheapest. There we go. All right, so now we've got to come back. We're going to have to come back for the second one, but let's go put this in the store. And once you walk in, it's visible. And so I think I think we've got to turn it around. Yeah, we want the slope towards us. So I think I've got enough room to put them both on that wall. I think that's what I'm going to do for now. Let's go grab our second. I like the little footsteps. And then I'm going to show you this. The way to go get this stuff is so cool. All right, let's spin this guy around. And put it right next to that one. There we go. All right, so now we have our stands. Now we have to use the cable car to transport our goods. Also, if you're going to download this, there's signs everywhere. Cable car. You have your retail store. You can go take out a loan. Actually, I didn't use the bank when I spawned in to test everything. And then that way for the dock. So we're going to go jump on this guy. Right here. This is the cable car. I don't know if you're allowed to ride it. There we go. We're headed down to the ship. <laughs> How cool is this? This is awesome. And then we just load up our stuff. Into the same... Cable car. There, we've got our apples. And we've got our walnuts. What's it, walnuts? I can't remember. There we go. Now we're on our way back up. <laughs> How cool is that? And now we just got to place our items on the stands. So once you place your, um, once you place your items, you can also change the price. I don't think we're going to because the recommended uh, price is two coins. So that's what we're going to uh, leave it at. But we bought it for one. So we're we're going to double our profit, right? So isn't that that's 100% profit. So I'm cool with that. Now we just got to put our apples out. We're going to put, put it on this one. Can I rotate this? Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Now we have some items. Now we have to set the price. I don't think I want to, though. Set price. Maybe we just have to confirm set price. There we go. Uh, open your market using the sign out front, which is right here. And you trigger it just like all the other market games that we've been playing. And turn on the open sign. And we just wait. It's day two. Assist the customer at the checkout counter. So this is our checkout counter. There's no such thing as a cash register. So now we just got to wait. You know what we're going to do? We're going to check out the bank. Once we go through all the uh, tutorial um, objectives, I'm going to see if, if the bank really does allow you to take out loans. I didn't, I didn't test that. This guy wants some apples. He said I couldn't find any tomatoes. Oh, so we just like supermarket simulator we've upset our first customer all right so let's go ahead and whoops <laughs> ring this guy out he's gonna put a sack of coins on the table 
There we go. Look at this. I love how I love how everybody's dressed. I love this uh, this time period. Um, and we have a new objective: view events on the calendar at the Grand Bazaar. I don't think I got this far. I don't think I did this. I think I played for like five minutes and then I was like, no, I want to experience this with all of you. So I stopped went and uh, spent the afternoon with the pups. And now we're right back at it. This guy's trying to find whiskey. We don't, we don't, I don't, we don't sell whiskey. It's been a pretty busy day so far. I don't know how we still have any items. These people come nonstop. And if you look up in the other corner, so we have 213 coins. I don't know what that 100 is. Uh, but it's day two. It's springtime. And it doesn't tell you the exact time. But it tells you it's afternoon. And the lights do go out. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if there was electricity. Hey, lights came on out there. So I wonder if... I don't see a light switch. I don't see a light switch. Couldn't find any Parmesan. Couldn't find any Gooseberry. I just opened. Give me a break, dude. Give me a break, cowboy. Look at this guy. This guy must be like a Greek god. Dressing like that. Six coins. Could you imagine buying apples for six coins in today's world? Ooh, it is getting darker. Much darker. I can barely see anything that they're putting on the table. That's how dark it is. That's crazy. And I think we're all out of stuff. We're going to go take a look, but I can't even see in here. Yeah, that is empty. And it looks like our almond bag is empty as well. So why don't we close up shop? We're going to go check this out. Let's take a little tour, man. We already know what's down here, right? We got the dock. We got the ship. The retail store. Check out the bank. I'm not going to take out a loan right now, but I do want to see. Bank will be available on full game. Oh, well, that answers our question. <laughs> we are definitely not. And I think this is all decorative, or at least for now. So we have to go view events on the calendar at the Grand Bazaar. I'm assuming the big building that says Grand Bazaar is where we're supposed to go. I just don't want to miss anything. What's over here? Just junk. Just decorations. Um, State officer. Ooh, what's this guy do? Ooh, it looks like we can buy an alcohol license. All right, all right, all right. What's... There's the calendar. So it looks like we have an event coming up. Easter. So we should stock egg, bread, and carrots for those days. All right, that's good to know. Wait, so what day is it? Let's take a quick look. Uh, it's the second. All right, so we'll have to do some shopping here. Um, purchase a lamp from the decoration store. Where's the decoration store? Oh, decoration store. Awesome. Um, let's say uh, purchase a lamp. Really? That's the only lamp? Is there anything else? What's this? Big carpet. Nah, I don't think I'll... I think I'll pass on that. All right, so we got our lamp. Place the lamp in your market. Okay, this is easy. I love how the minute you walk in, this thing turns on or, or uh, opens up like to place it. There we go. Purchase a permission from the state officer. Oh, we were already there. We could have killed two burns with one stone. Now I got to run all the way back over here. Purchase permission from the state officer. Uh, 30 cents. Ooh, now we're down to 205. Purchase an expansion from the architect. Or where's the architect? I don't think I saw anybody else. That's the lumberjack. Decoration store, state officer, architect. Okay, so the architect is in here somewhere. That's Is that the decoration? That's the decoration guy. Um, oh, oh, architect, there we go. Cool. So what does he do? He's going to charge us 75 cents to expand the market. I'm going to wait on that. I don't want to use up our money. Definitely not. So before we sleep, I think we've got to make our 
purchase because I, I don't think it's going to spawn unless we sleep. So, um, should we get ready? Should we get ready for Easter? Uh, how much is bread? 24 coins. Okay. Carrots. 45 coins. Okay. Eggs. Okay, so we're almost out. So how much is... Whiskey. 136 coins. That's not going to happen. 84 coins. Okay, so we can't buy any alcohol. Alright, uh, so we purchased it. Now we got to sleep and then load up our cable car. This is... Uh, I can't wait for the full release. I think this is going to be a really fun game. And not to mention... It's co-op. How cool is that? Wait, how come... How come that turned red? Can I do anything with it? No. So this is kind of cool. You get a daily report when you go to sleep. We had 140 coins worth of sales. We increased our reputation. Oh, that's what that is. Reputation. Uh, we had to pay 10 coins for rent, 3 coins for maintenance, and a 14, 14 coins for a tax. Who's taxing us? The king? The kings? The kingdom? Alright, so here I, I can hear that. Uh, I can hear the music again. I don't know why it does that. It like doesn't stay, doesn't stay quiet. There we go. I feel, I, I don't know. This is such a cool way to do it. Fell. I fell. I <laughs> fell in the water. Um, I don't know how to get back up. Okay, so we just can walk up those stairs. All right, that was kind of scary. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Here we go. Our chariot awaits. I feel like I'm getting pushed off. I'm barely on it. All right, so let's carry this in. I think I might have an issue though, right? Because, yeah. I don't know. What are we supposed to do with the empties? Uh, can I put them in this thing? Yes. Okay. I had no idea that was going to happen like that, but it did happen. Am I getting anything for that? Am I getting any reputation? Doesn't look like it, does it? So I wonder, I wonder if we're going to have like a major run on eggs today so people can get ready for Easter. Like, you know, so you can like color them. All right, we got one more thing of carrots. Then we're going to check all of our prices and make sure everything's priced properly. And maybe we should experiment. Should we raise our prices? Let's try it. Let's see what happens if we do five coins. Whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. All right, five coins. Oh, we already priced. Okay, what about bread? We'll do four coins. Oh, it already did it. And then our eggs. I'm just raising one coin. I just want to see. Whoops, I did it again. I just want to see... Is it going to upset people? All right, we're open. Come on in. Come on in. Is this interactive? Cleaning will be available on the full game. That's cool. All right, here's our first customer. Let's just see the little, like, verbiage over her head. Is she going to say anything? Bread is too expensive. Dang. I knew it. Okay, so all you have to do is choose one. And it does them both. Okay. All right. 
So I don't want to make the people mad. You know, you know what they did to people who overtaxed in those days. We're gonna end up like the tea. We're gonna end up in the harbor. Oh, she bought a carrot. Seven coins. All right, now we're now we're on to. We're, okay, I feel much better about today. Thirty-eight coins. The eight looks kind of weird. Well, I know what it is. All right, I don't think we're I don't think we're gonna have enough stuff to last us. I mean, these people are buying it like it's going out of style. I I didn't think people were gonna. Oh no, it is the third, right? Third, fourth, fifth. I don't know. Maybe we should take a look at the calendar again. Like, how will we know? Like, how will we know when the event starts? Okay, bread. Bread's like, we're going to have to buy all this stuff over again. But hopefully we make, make enough profit, we can add some other things as well. And maybe... Maybe we should get uh, some more shelving. I think some more shelving would look cool. I love, I love how the shelving looks. I just want to get something different. It's getting dark again. Um, maybe I need another lamp for this side. And I wonder if they're going to have different lamps available in the full game. Like, this just is not enough light. We are, I mean, I think we're out of bread. We're definitely out of bread because the people have stopped buying it. One carrot, dude? Come on. You cheapskate. No, she bought something. Oh, she's buying eggs. Okay. It just looks like she's taking it from the bread shelf. I guess they don't actually bend down. She couldn't find eggs, so now we're out of eggs. All we have is carrots left. Actually, we have nothing left. We have nothing. Everything is... Uh, everything sold. We're sold out. I better... You know what I better do? I better close the store. So we don't upset anybody. Let's go over to the lumberjack. And I think we're going to grab one of these guys. Right, well, that's 25 coins. 20 coins. 10 coins. 30 coins. You know what? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Mostly used for placing large items. All right, I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab one. We're just gonna test it out, and then we'll order some more goods. Go to sleep, and uh, we're gonna see what this. Um, we'll see what this whole Easter thing is all about. End of the day report, we had 232 coins worth of sales. Increased our reputation by 64. And then all these stayed the same. Tw our tax went up 23. It went from 14 to 23. <gasps> I forgot to order my stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. I never ordered my stuff before I slept. Music's back on. Look at this. I'm going to say the event started. There's all sorts of... All sorts of, like, decorations. There's a big bunny decoration. Wait, were these on the steps? We must have. We must have walked right by it. Yeah, it definitely looks like spring in here. There's a gigantic egg over here. I can't pick any of this stuff up, though, so... It's not interactive. So I've made a huge mistake. I just ordered all of our stuff, and it didn't spawn. Oh, no. So that means we got to wait around all day in order to sleep. <laughs> this is going to... Well, this is going to be a bummer. All right, I waited, all, <laughs> waited around all day so we could sleep. I'm really worried about our daily report because we're negative five. We had no sales because we had no items. We gained no reputation, but we still had to pay rent, maintenance, and tax. And we have a negative balance, which will lead to bankruptcy. So you can only have a negative balance three times. But the good news is, 
Um, our stuff should be... I'm hoping our stuff spawned. If not, we're in trouble. I already see it down there. Alright, so we got one bread, which I don't think is going to be enough. But we also have... I did get a thing of apples, a crate of apples. Two things of eggs. And one crate of carrots. I hope that's enough. I don't want angry customers. I don't want the king to come looking for us. I don't think that happens, but you know, you know what they do. The peasants like us in these times. It's a go time. What little stock I was able to purchase is all out. Everything's priced. I don't think I left anything in the cart, but yeah, we're good. Now we just gotta wait for customers to come in. Did I open? Yeah, we're open. Doesn't look like this guy's upset about anything, so we had everything he was looking for. And she looks to be okay with it either. We're out of the negative, but that doesn't help us. You can only fall into the negative three times. I don't know what happens after that. Maybe it says game over. Oh, he couldn't find any whiskey. Look, I tried, buddy. I ran out of money. I'm sorry. Come back tomorrow. I can't believe I made that. <laughs> I made such a mistake. Uh, I can't believe we lost today. We're almost back to 100 coins. That's not going to buy us much, though, so... <clears throat> so I bought this in hopes that we could get some walnuts and stuff. Um, but whoops, I just, I didn't have the money for it. Hopefully we do this time, we'll see. People are buying up the carrots and the eggs though, even the apples. And apples aren't even a spring thing, right? Apples, fresh apples are like a fall thing. At least where I live. So these are our last two carrots. We're all out of carrots, I think. Because I just saw somebody come in and they said, I can't find any carrots. Oh, no, she must have bought the last one. That's okay. That's all right. We're almost up to 200 coins. But I, I think that's it. I think that's it. It would have been nice to have uh, the bank in the prologue. Take out a little loan so you could explore, experience a little bit more of the game. Um... Before you run out of uh, run out of stuff to do, we're all out of apples now too. So all we got are eggs. Can't find any carrots. Yep. Oh, and now we're all out of eggs. Uh oh. Oh, we're all out of everything. It's all gone. Oh no, we're gonna have some upset people. They're gonna riot. They're gonna burn us. So that is unfortunately the end of the day for us. And we've got to be extra careful with our spending now. Because we have to have a little bit left so we don't go in the negative again. So I'm going to have to buy like single stuff. And bread is expensive. Like a bread basket alone is 36 coins. I guess that's not too bad. So if we buy two bread, we won't go with the apples. Um, I guess we'll do two carrots. No. That's it. Oh, no. That's it. Can I buy two eggs? I can buy two eggs. That leaves us with 19 coins. Oh, no. What happens if our tax is over 20 like it was two days ago? All right. <sighs> let's see if we're in the negative again. Uh, 10. Yeah. So that's day two of being in the negative by 11. Yep, negative balance will lead to bankruptcy. So we only have one more opportunity <clears throat> to stay in the positive. That's a bummer. That's a really big bummer. But I think that's all the time that I have for this prologue. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Um, because I... I, I think it's kind of cool. And the fact that it's going to be co-op, I mean, only two people, that's kind of cool as well. 
let me know in the comments if you're going to check out the prologue and if you're going to check out the game when it uh, is fully released. I think I am. I think I'm going to check it out. Uh, if you're not the commenting type, though, make sure you hit the thumbs up on the video. It lets me know that you like the content, you want to see more of it. It lets YouTube know that you think we're doing a good job. And if you haven't hit the sub button yet, make sure you hit the sub button because we... You never know what we're going to play next. So join us on that journey. Speaking of journeys, thank you all for joining me. Not just today, but every day. I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe. Look after one another. Be kind to yourself. You deserve it. Much love, everybody. Peace.